Are you looking to blend your Sony X93L TV into the design of your room? Well, with Leon Frame for Bravia XR, you can do just that. This frame was designed with your living space in mind. Literally. Turn your already amazing Sony TV into a work of art. This Leon Frame is available in four custom finishes, including walnut, oak, black, and white, giving you multiple options. And the best part is, you don't have to give up that picture performance when you need it to be a TV. In this video, we'll run through setting up the Sony Art Frame Gallery app and how you can customize it for your needs. All right, so we've got the TV on and we're at the home screen. Um, we're gonna install the USB thumb drive into the television, but before we do, let's go ahead and click that settings tab. Uh, it's that uh, little wrench on your remote control in the top right. From here, we're gonna scroll over to our settings. And then we're gonna scroll down to apps. And we wanna highlight and select apps. We're gonna scroll to the right. And we're gonna go down to security and restrictions. From here, we just wanna make sure that that CI tool is allowed. It's already check marked here. If it's not, go ahead and slide that over to where that is check marked. And now we're gonna go ahead and insert that USB memory stick that comes with the Leon frame for Bravi XR. It's got the Sony Art Frame Gallery app already loaded into it. And we're gonna go ahead and launch the CI Tools dashboard. And we're gonna do this by hitting a three button sequence. We're gonna hit input mute, and then we're gonna press and hold mute for about three seconds. It's gonna ask us if we wanna allow CI Tools to access photos, media, and files on our device. We're gonna go ahead and click allow. Um, but from here, we're gonna go down to our install app from USB, and we want to go ahead and select this. And it's gonna ask us if we want to uh, go ahead and install that frame release TV uh, APK file that's loaded on the USB drive. We're gonna select that. And for security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this device, that's fine. We can go ahead and go into settings, and we just wanna double check that that CI tool is allowed here, so I'm gonna Click yes. I'm gonna go back to our CI Tools dashboard by hitting the back button on the remote control. And I wanna go ahead and choose the application to install. We're gonna click that install button. It only takes a couple seconds here. Once that's installed, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight done and I'm gonna click okay on the remote control. Now what we need to be able to do is enable simple IP control. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click that wrench button again. And I'm gonna go back into our settings and from our settings, I'm gonna select our home network. So I'm gonna to go to network and internet, and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over to the right. Once here, I'm gonna to go to our home network, so all the way down at the bottom. And I'm gonna scroll over to the right, and I wanna select IP control. And I'm gonna check this simple IP control. I wanna make sure that that's turned on. It's gonna say this may increase power consumption for more than uh, you know your normal configuration, and that's perfectly fine for what we're gonna be using this for. Now, once we've done this, we're at a point where we have to reboot the television. Hold, press and hold the power button until it comes up with a restart. It's about, it takes about three seconds. We're gonna click that restart button. All right, so the TV's all rebooted. Took just a few seconds, it was about 20, 30 seconds or so for this to happen. We're back at the home screen now. We've already installed the APK file. I wanna go to my apps and I can scroll all the way to the right here and I'll see that now that Sony uh, Art Frame Gallery app is now loaded onto the television. We're gonna go ahead and allow. And right now what it's doing is it's loading in all the artwork that was preloaded onto that USB drive into the application. So what's great about this is you don't have to have a subscription to access all of this artwork. You're gonna have about 70 different types of artwork available that's preloaded into your gallery art frame app. Uh, it only takes a few seconds there, but um, now we've got the application loaded. Um, from here, this is where you've got all your different types of artwork um, in a range of different categories from your classic like Monet's to some more nostalgic pieces. Um, but you can see there's quite a few. Uh, the app is going to have 70 uh, different types of artwork loaded into it. And what's nice about it is there's no subscription needed for this. These come preloaded with the application once it's downloaded. Um, so from here, if you see a 
you know, piece of artwork that you'd like to choose and, and view on your, on your TV, um, you're going to build a playlist. So it comes standard with just one that's kind of in there by default. But if you find another uh, picture that you like, let's say this Monet right here, I can either choose to preview this. So if I click preview, it's going to pop up with the preview window, um, or I can click uh, add it to the playlist. Now, if I click add, it's going to put a little star by that, indicating that that's in my favorites now. And you can build out a queue uh, as you see fit. You can do up to 12 of these currently. So you can build out your list and you see up here at the top, those are added now to this playlist. But uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is you can also load in your own artwork. So on a USB drive, uh, just make sure it's in the proper JPEG form, uh, format and you can load in your own personal artwork. If you got family photos or whatever the case may be, uh, when you have the USB connected to uh, the X93L, you'll see another category that just says USB, and then you would do the same thing. You would add, click on those photos, and then you would add uh, that to the playlist. It would put a star by it, and then your favorite photos or family photos would then show up in your, in your queue or in your playlist. Um, so now that I've got some artwork kind of just built in my playlist here, I'm going to show you some other cool features that our software has built into it. So you see this little wrench at the very top. If you navigate up to the top and select that, this is where we've got a bunch of different choices here based on uh, what we would like to view the artwork as. So we can put a mat on this. We've got five different styles of mat. Um, we've got a white, kind of more of a tattered look. Um, there's also a gray and a black. Now you see when I'm selecting this, nothing's happening. That's because I can actually change the size of the mat. So if I wanted a larger mat, and let's say I wanted that to be black or have that, again, that kind of more of that tattered look, you can choose that um, from this selection here. So pretty easy to do and navigate the style of matte and the finish. Um, the next section down is our enable frame mode. When you move the slider on when it's enabled, this is going to turn on frame mode when the TV is in standby. So perfect example of this. Uh, your client or yourself, you're watching, you know, your favorite movie or your television show and you're done watching TV. As soon as you turn that, uh, hit that power button and turn the TV off, if this slider is on, the artwork is going to um, turn on. So it's basically going into standby and then it'll turn on again and I'll show you how that works here in just a sec. We also have our enable motion sensors. Um, this is a motion sensor that's built onto the bottom of the frame. And this basically just detects whether there's motion in uh, the room happening, it'll automatically kick on the television, or if it doesn't uh, sense motion for a certain period of time, it'll automatically turn itself off. Now the light sensor, um, this will adapt based on the conditions of the room, and it will either uh, turn on or turn off the, the television depending on how much light is in the, in the space. Now, um, I've got my light pretty low on this for shooting this video. Uh, most of your bright living rooms are probably going to live around 40 in terms of that threshold level. Um, I will say this, when you're setting this up uh, and you want the enable um, artwork mode to turn on and you have it also tied to the light sensor, make sure your threshold level is lower than the sensor level. So in this case, like I said, it's very, very low. Uh, because my lighting is low in this space, so the sensor level is reading only at one. If I were to turn up the lights a little bit more, it would read a lot higher. But I want to make sure that my threshold level, level is lower than that, um, than that sensor level. And I'm just going to show you how, um, how this will work to enable the art mode once that's turned on. So if I want to just, let's say, turn off the TV, I just do a simple power command. TV turns off, but now it's going into a standby mode and you can see that art frame gallery app is loading. It's gonna come up and the sensor is reading the light within the space now, so it's a little bit brighter, but it's gonna dim down to uh, something a little bit more comfortable uh, based on the lighting conditions within that space. All right, so you can see how easy it is to get that Sony art frame gallery app installed. Make sure you check out your light and motion sensor as every installation is different. To watch the assembly of the Leon frame installation video, simply click on that link in the description. I'm Russell with Sony Electronics, and as always, be on the lookout for more helpful videos coming your way soon. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.